Welcome back to our Cross Canada tour. This is part two of day 11. In this episode, you will see us descend the Paulson Pass. As we started our descent, uh, the weather had actually dropped quite drastically. So we stopped at a rest area and we put our rain jackets on because it was that cold. Uh, the coolness though was quite welcoming because the past days it had been blazing hot. As we descended, we headed into Cal Cigar and we went to the Boston Pizza there. The Boston Pizza was really accommodating. They allowed us to literally take our bikes through the restaurant and out into the patio, which we really appreciated because we don't like to leave our bikes unattended for obvious reasons. After we had our lunch in Cal Cigar, we headed into Nelson. We came into Nelson. We intended to visit an old friend of mine. But unfortunately, he was on vacation with his family, and I missed him by 24 hours. I really hope there's a next time. We went to the grocery store and got some supplies and ate a very fast supper because we intended to go on to Kokanee Campground, which offered free camping for cyclists and free showers. They even had a... Uh, permanent structure where we could pitch our tent underneath that uh, kept us dry from the rain that came overnight and even a food cache because many bears had been in this area. So we really want to thank Kokanee Campground and the beautiful, beautiful area where we camped. You'll see that in the next episode. So for now, enjoy this episode. All right, Paulson Summit. 1,535 meters. There we are. <laughs> hey. Good. Woo! We made it. There it is. 5,036 feet. Starting our descent down the Paulson Pass. That's going to be pretty intense. A lot of gravel here, so we're going to have to take it slow. I don't want to wipe out. All right, we just left the rest area coming down the mountain. The uh, Bonanza Pass or the Paulson Pass. We have a few signs indicating what's ahead. Got a bit of rain, so we put on our rain jackets. Ah, this is the turn off to trail. Uh, we will not be going south to trail. We will not be going south to trail. We are going to Castle Garb. There's another rest area up ahead, it looks like. And we'll have a late lunch, early supper in Castle Garb. Well, Castlegar, 26, Salmo, 61, Nelson, 69. Oh, Josh, just wait, just wait. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. I see that this has been dragging on your thing all the while. Okay. That's what was making that sound. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Well, I thought it was the bottle. No.
Josh and I are just taking a break before we get into Castle Gar. get a picture at that sign. Just follow my lead. There we are. Castle Guard. This is one of the main streets in Castle Guard here. We're just going through town trying to find the restaurant where we want to eat at. Go to Panago Pizza. There's sushi. All right, we're at Castle Guard at the Boston Pizza eating nachos. We're just leaving Castle Gar. Leaving Castle Gar. And here's the airport here and Selkirk College. Visitor Center. Dukabor Center. We are traveling 3A. It's raining a bit. But I think we'll be okay. We do have rain jackets and rain pants and rain shoes if we need. Beautiful view up here. Very beautiful.
some wild turkeys that just crossed the road. There they are. I ran out of footage or battery power for my Insta360. how we used to do the filming. Get in there. I think that's Kootenai Lake. Wow. It's so beautiful. So I ran out of battery power with the Insta360, so I have to use the cell phone now. We are walking across the bridge crossing the Kootenai River. I guess the Kootenai River will develop into the Kootenai Lake and we're gonna take the ferry across the Kootenai Lake to uh, the other side. It's quite a beautiful scene in here. I just can't help but to get some footage of this. Oh, it's so beautiful. The mountain up there and it goes down into the river. A little bay in there. And it flows there on the other side. Here we are descending into the town of Nelson. You can see it down in the valley there. It's very, very beautiful. We're just at a lookout looking into the valley of Nelson here with the bridge. Can't make it fully out because it's covered by those trees, but uh, here it is. I believe that's the Kootenai River that will form the Kootenai Lake, and we're gonna cross the Kootenai Lake tomorrow by a ferry. It's the longest free ride ferry in Canada. City of Nelson welcomes you. So we are going to cross this bridge in order to get to our campground tonight. I don't have power in the Insta360 so I gotta just do this cell phone and that's it. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, going across the bridge in Nelson and across the Kootenai River. I don't have much power so hopefully I capture some images of this. And we're just going to our campground, which is about 20 kilometers out of Nelson. It's quite a wide river, 